Hey friends and welcome back. I am finally getting around to doing another gardening video. Um, please don't judge me by my attire. There is not many things that are comfortable to wear right now. So stretchy pants and you know sweaters, especially it's been a little chilly lately. Oh and here is our guest star Mr. Ranger. You want to say hi? Come here. Come here. Ah, there we go. Sit. Wait. You want to sit here and be a good dog? So today I want to go over um, how to prune tomato plants and I'll also briefly go over how I'm training them up the string. Um, I should have probably done this oh, maybe a week ago, pruned them again because some of them are getting really bad. But um, you know, pregnancy. I'm just going to blame everything on the baby. <laughs> Before I get started uh, showing you how to prune, I just want to go over um, why exactly you want to prune your tomatoes. Um, I actually didn't prune tomatoes until I started gardening here in Washington State. And the first year I planted tomatoes, I made a big mistake. I planted, let's see, eight cherry tomato plants and that was it. I didn't plant any other tomatoes, just cherry tomatoes and oh my goodness we had tomatoes coming out of our ears and sadly neither will nor i really love cherry tomatoes like we'll eat them but like that was a lot i ended up tearing up half of them, one of the beds anywho but a friend of mine was over and pointed out that hey you know you need to prune off these suckers and i was like what's that so i looked into it and come to find out there is a, a way to prune tomatoes so that they will uh, increase yield with uh, they'll produce bigger and better and more fruit and it also helps prevent diseases because you're creating more um, circu air circulation between the plants and especially if you're training them in the method that I'm doing here you have to prune them because if you don't they will just start crowding themselves out you can see you know obviously I have these closely spaced together so I really have no room for these plants to start really getting big for pruning tomatoes um, all you'll need is well you could just use your fingers if it's small enough uh, but I also would have some pruning shears just in case I do these just because I have accidentally ripped off you know lopped off the top of the tomato plant and then they just don't do as well but if you do that if you accidentally prune off the wrong one don't worry about it you can train one of your suckers to actually take over and keep growing so don't, don't be discouraged. So first of all, I wanna show what exactly a sucker is. I've pruned off most of the lower ones, but you can see here, here is the main, ah, there we go. <laughs> this leaf is getting in the way. Here is the main stem of the plant coming up like this. And you see my, my string coming around there. Let's see if I can back up. Here is a branch coming down and there's another one. There's another one there. And you can see this little sucker coming right up here. That's what we're pruning off. Anytime I kind of call this the, um, the armpit of the plant or the elbow of the plant. And right in there, you'll get these suckers that will start coming up and they'll go sideways. And these do not, yes, they will sometimes produce fruit, but they really don't um, tend to be the main production. Most of the time, um, you'll get fruit off of the main stem. See right here, here, ugh, get up. Here is the, the main stem of the plant, which I need to uh, attach to the string. And you can see that the flowers are coming right off of that main stem. So um, I want to prune off any suckers that will take energy away from fruit production. So for this example, um, this is actually small enough. I probably could just pinch it off with my fingers, but I'm gonna show you how to do it with my clippers. There we go. Nice thing with this is you can actually take these suckers and um, put them in water till they root and then plant them. But um, I have plenty of tomatoes, so. <laughs> Sometimes you catch it so early on like this, you can just pinch it off. Just do that. There we go. Here's another example of a really difficult one to tell because from here you can see that the uh, sucker and the main stem have actually um, fused together and it's uh, bisected. So, you know, now you have this Y and you're like, my goodness, which one is the main stem? Once again, what I did is, well, first of all, I checked down here 
and see that this is where it continues. This is the branch coming off. This sucker just somehow fused to that stem. And then when I look closely, there's the main stem. You can see flowers coming right off of there. And when I look at my sucker, nothing. So I'm gonna take that off. Now, if I happen, if you happen to accidentally cut the main stem off and you leave the sucker in place, that's okay. The sucker will then take over the job of the main stem. But um, I'm going to, since I know that is the sucker, I'm gonna take it off right there. Yes, and this plant is going to be all warped because I didn't catch that early enough, but um, it'll even out after a while. Now, another thing I always do when uh, training my tomatoes up is I try to make sure that the leaves are not touching the ground because it's very tomatoes especially are very prone to diseases and any sort of uh, water that hits the ground and splashes back up onto the leaves will just cause uh, diseases and pest problems. And so what I tend to do is as my plants are growing up, I take off the uh, lower few branches of leaves and it'll be really hard for you to do this probably because it's hard for me. I, am, I feel like I'm mutilating my plants, but they are a lot healthier and they put more focus into fruit production and not so much into vegetative production. So I took off that last one the very bottom. I'm going to take this one off here too. And then I'm actually just going to prune up a couple leaves here so they don't touch the ground. There you go. You can see I have a, a nice straight leaf free stem to about here. And for uh, probably what I'll do is so right now we have uh, flowers right here. I don't, oh yeah, there's some flowers right here. So I'm not going to prune any leaves above those flowers. Um, I'm just gonna, usually I take off one or two just as I see it slowly growing. I'll just continue and after a while as the tomatoes weigh up high, there's gonna be a long spot here without leaves on it. But um, that's how we're able to train the tomatoes so they don't get wide, but instead they grow up. Now, if you're doing this particular method, um, I have these little clips here and I'm just going to clip the top of the plant there so that it will uh, continue training up the plant. Sometimes I'll even uh, wind the plant around the string a little bit if I feel I can. Let's see how it's looking. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay. I just accidentally cut the string when I was doing it. <laughs> I have another one. I'm just going to tie it on and then retie it to uh, the staple that I have down below. Oh well. Ah. Okay. Back to this. And I'm super excited because my pineapple tomatoes are starting to produce some green tomatoes. So there we go. I got all my tomatoes pruned and trained up on that string. Feels good to finally have them looking better instead of all full and lopsided. So these look a whole lot better now that I've pruned them up, trimmed up all the lower leaves and uh, got all the suckers off of those. So and don't waste all of this these uh, suckers and leaves and stuff, throw it in your compost pile and, and let them uh, add back to your garden or um, use those suckers to start a new tomato plant if you want more. So be sure to like and subscribe so you can check on this in the future and get more videos on tomato care, but also just gardening in general. Hit that um, notification bell so you can get notifications whenever I have a new video out. Thanks for joining me today. I hope that you learned something new and you can go and apply it to your own garden. God bless. Please subscribe to my channel. <laughs>